combo devices are a unique Skyhoi concept. Essentially it is, take any camera, pair it with any pan tilt head and any lens, and make it function as one cohesive unit. It's a challenging task, as we just see in this video, but the results can be incredibly rewarding. And when it comes to controlling such complex combinations, nothing matches the incredible flexibility of a Skahoy controller. This is PVC Extreme, our flagship PVC controller. So it has a joystick, it has knobs for controlling iris, lens features, zoom, we have buttons to control the camera sensor itself, and that's what we'll look at with these solutions. They are not all equal. Some of these setups have features that others don't, and that's some of the details I'll share in this video. But what is common is the UI that you look at right here. It's from the RCP, uh, sorry, uh, PVC Extreme. We also have an RCP, but PVC Extreme has this web UI coming out of it. And inside of it, we have three cameras set up, Combo device number one, which is the Data Video PTC150 uh, pen tilt head with a Sony FX30 camera on top. Then second camera is the Rushworks PTX3, very heavy duty head over here with a Pixis 6K camera from Blackmagic Design. A pretty incredible and very um, fancy camera in 6K sensor with a 4K output that can go both vertical and horizontal. That's uh, pretty awesome, but anyway, the third camera we have here is the BGH-1 from Luix on top of a NBOT head from Salray Works, and that NBOT head will give us an NDI uh, um, feed out from the camera that is connected to it. But we'll look at the connections later. So each of these pan tilt heads are visible right here. They can be controlled with the Visca protocol, and then combined with those cameras, we have the other three devices the Pixis camera, the Lumix camera, and the Sony FX3. Uh, if I click on any of these, I'll see this uh, camera selector with more details popping up. There's something like a device ID, there's the name, and the name is what you also see on the PVC Extreme, so we can identify each camera on the unit. One of the things I said is, control them as a co cohesive unit. And that's kind of the point, that from an operator perspective, you basically select the camera, and then you will have the pan, the tilt operation, and you can also do zooming with the joystick. You see I'm zooming out right now, zoom in. So just notice that from an operator point of view, he might not even realize that this is a camera mounted on a pan tilt head. And that's the whole point. We can do the same with the other cameras. So we are panning and tilting with this one, and we can recall presets and so on. Anyway, uh, let's look at a little bit more of the configuration here, because for each of these, you see that we choose a configuration that makes that combination possible. For the Sony FX3, we choose pan tilt head with the Sony mirrorless camera. That's a configuration that combines parameters from these two devices that we added over here in the right side. And in addition, we have also chosen a iris channel config, which is the Sony FX6, it says, but that's compatible with FX30. And that is what will allow us to control the lens. I mentioned that we could throw any lens of these on these cameras. That is also true. But today, all these lenses, we have the um, joy of being able to control the lenses through the cameras. The cameras themselves uh, are extending their control to the lens, but that's not always the case. You might have a fancy Fujinon lens or something that would require like a third item in this combo, and that's also possible. Okay, but that's the configuration. I want to get to some of the uh, details of this. Let's start by looking at the Lumix here. We have uh, BDH1, uh, and uh, on the output of this one, which is NDI, so let me just bring that up here, we can, of course, do pan and tilt. And one of the things that we can't do is, um, I was about to say zoom, we can do zoom. But notice one thing, if I, let's say that I want to store this one, this, as a preset. I press and hold, okay, and then I zoom out a little bit, and then I pan over to the side here. Okay, like that, and I store that as a second preset. Now, if I recall the first preset, notice that unfortunately, we are only able to recall the pan and the tilt position. Unfortunately, on this camera, zoom is not a part of the package for a combo camera. 
it's just how it is. You may still want to put a Lumix camera on top of this one. It's still great. You could put one of the other cameras on top of that one. But the point is that in this particular case, a preset can only hold the position of the pan tilt head. The PTX3 head is probably the most heavy duty pan tilt head that I've seen. It is designed by Rushworks to carry really heavy payloads. Today, the Pixis um, 6K, is it? 6K camera, which is... Um, Great in itself, but today even better because we put it on this pan tilt head. We pick it from the camera selector here and we have pan, tilt and zoom control. I also want to show you that, uh, no, actually we don't have zoom control, but that is because of the lens we have on this camera. So you will have to excuse me in this video that I am not able to control the lens zoom. I can, however, control the lens iris. So you'll see that if I had a zoom lens on it, that zoom lens would be a part of basically my um, demonstration here of recalling presets. So I'll just recall preset number one, which is this one I have stored uh, prior to this. I could also just make it slightly different, press and hold to store the preset. And then I have preset number two, and preset number two is this. So I decided to show you that I can actually bring it out of focus. This, um, and also focus is a part, that's a lens feature in itself also, and that is also stored along with our presets. So now I just wanna save this preset again and recall the first one because obviously the second one was out of focus. That was not my intention. But now you can see that I have these two presets. Again, that preset contains information about the pan tilt position as well as focus in the lens. And it would have had zoom as well if that lens had been a uh, lens with automated zoom that I could actually control from my controller. But it is not, unfortunately. Okay, everything else I can do on these great uh, Blackmagic cameras is there. I want to just quickly find the... Um, oh, 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 what to choose? I want to do something about saturation, just make it more saturated. So that is sensor control, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is the camera that we are controlling using those parameters while this is the pan tilt position of the device. Combo device, operators uh, doesn't know if it's the one or the other. For them, it's just one unit. Let's move on to the FX30. That is actually the best camera demonstrated today because there we have all the great features that we want. All right, so let me demonstrate presets. This is one preset and this is another preset. And wow, we have the zoom as well. And that is exactly what you would have on this one if the lens supported it. And that's what we are basically going for. That is a situation where the pan tilt zoom functionality known from PC cameras and storing them in presets is readily available. Now, there is still one caveat to this, and that is you can only have five presets. Because in this case, we realize that the FX30 has presets built in. It means that we are recalling its internal preset engine along with the preset engine of the data video pan tilt head. And that um, means we are limited to the number of preset banks that Sony put into the camera. And that's five. So we have only five presets. And you see that actually we limited the selector to only five presets because of this fact. And this brings me back to a point. If you want to do combo devices, it's probably not for convenience. It is because you have an amazing camera you want to use as a pen tilt camera for whatever reason. And you're not therefore ready to jump onto pen tilt cameras that are fully integrated units. So your motivation is something else. And therefore we suggest that you reach out to our support team to ask for the features that you're looking for to know what can you expect from a combo device with a Skahoi PTC Extreme, for instance. Before we end the video, I would like to show how these solutions are cabled, okay? So if we start with the FX30 over here, then we have this USB cable from the blue pill going into the camera. And that is what gives you control. So on this blue pill, we have a device coin stall that talks to the camera using the Sony remote SDK. That is the device core you see down here in the web UI. Okay, so the blue pill is connected to the network and gives us access to the camera control. Then let me just move this head around because then you can see how cables are also nicely looped around. There's an HDMI output of the X, uh, FX30, and that goes into the backside of the data video head. And uh, from there, it can go out to your um, um, recording unit or your, uh, your video switcher. You also find an ethernet jack on the head itself, so you can connect 
and control the pan tilt head as I'm just doing right now. Let's move on to the BDH1 on the uh, inbot head here. Uh, in this case, we also have Ethernet cable going into the camera, into the head. This takes NDI out and we have this HDMI connection into the NBOT head that converts the HDMI to NDI and that's how we pick it up in the video switcher system. Finally, the uh, PTX3 head is um, full of great loop uh, throughs. So if we uh, look at the other side of this one, first we can look down here that we have SDI out, but actually that SDI comes from the camera. So the very nice cabling we have here on the PTX3 is SDI from the camera into the head, the arm. And uh, then we also have Ethernet connection, which is then simply passed through to a connector on the backside. The second Ethernet cable is for controlling the PTX3 itself. So that resembles pretty much what we have in the other cases. Two Ethernet cables in all cases, because we have two network devices that are combined into a single device. I hope you liked this video. Stay updated with our latest software and hardware releases by subscribing to this channel, signing up for our newsletter, or following us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. If you have any questions, our support and sales team is always ready to help, and all the links and resources you need are in the video description below. Thanks for watching.